live in my day as if it was the last Live my day as if there was no past Doing it all night, all summer Doing it the way I wanna Hey guys, so I have just spent a large portion of my day Making stuff out of stuff And... <laughs> good day it was it was a good day so i thought i would do another diy video because you guys always seem to really enjoy them and they are kind of fun to film so i thought i'd do another one and this one is a diy room decor video and it's kind of targeted for springtime so i used all like pastely colors do love me some pastel colors so yeah i'm just gonna get on with it now and i really hope you enjoy it so for the first DIY, you will need a plain white canvas, some paint of whatever colour you fancy, and some metallic pens, either gold or silver. So the first thing I did was pick out the colour I wanted. Of course, I went for pink because it is my fave. So I'm just going to start by shaking it up and, you know, squirting it out. That's that's always useful. That sounds lovely, doesn't it? And then I'm just going to paint my canvas all over. I'm sure you all know how to paint a canvas, but here I am doing it. And it was actually really fun. Very therapeutic. I do love a good old bit of painting. <laughs> So once the paint had dried, I went and printed out these words and I'll leave the font that I use below in case you want to use that font. And I just used the words hello and spring. So it says hello spring, how original. <laughs> and I just printed it out so that I could trace over it because, you know, didn't want to risk doing it freehand because that would have been a disaster. There we go. Now I've got the outline of the letters. And then I just took this metallic gold pen and filled it in. But the pen was really naff. It wasn't what I thought. I would definitely recommend getting a Sharpie instead. Instead. I was not a fan of it so I just took it away for a while and eventually I had this it wasn't as bold as I would have liked but it'll do I then just decided you know what I'm gonna stick the confetti on the table around the edge I wasn't going to but I just thought it added a really nice touch so I just used some PVA glue to stick these little confetti circles around it and it just added a nice little touch and there we have a nice spring canvas <laughs> So for the next DIY, you will need a mason jar, some felt, a pen, how exciting, and some cotton wool balls. So the first thing you want to do is whack your lid off of your mason jar. This was a really fancy one. It's got like two parts to it. What is going on? And then I just stuff the cotton wool balls into the jar. Voila, we're done. DIY finished, I'm joking. The next thing you want to do is grab your felt. I then just folded the white piece in half and drew a rabbit's ear on it as best I could, you know, not that great at drawing, but it'll do. I then just cut that out with some scissors you know then i just repeated that with another piece because you know rabbits have two ears i then just repeated that with some pink felt but a little bit smaller i then folded a little piece of white felt and cut a circle out of it so that i had two eyes and i just made a little pink nose and now i'm going to grab my glue gun and i'm just waiting for it to heat up bloody thing was taking ages <laughs> i haven't got all day and then i'm just going to glue gun the bits to the jar simple really so i put the eyes on the little nose on then i took the two white pieces and glued them together i just did this to make it a bit more sturdy so it was a bit thicker and then i got the pink bits as well and glued them on top to make it look more like a rabbit's ear yay <laughs> oh here i am doing it again in case you missed that oh very tricky isn't it you know there we go now we've got two ears so i'm just gonna put some glue on the bottom of it and stick it on the top of the jar on the lid there we go little rabbit oh i then just added some features so he actually looked a bit more human not that he's human he's a rabbit and there you have a little rabbit that holds your cotton wool balls yeah so for the next diy you will need some wooden letters i decided to go for l-o-v-e to spell love and some white paint and some pom-poms in some pastel colors so i started by squeezing out some white paint and painting the letters just simply paint them all over it might need a couple of coats but just keep painting them really so i just repeated that with all of the letters so that they were completely covered so that they look like white letters you know pretty obvious i then grabbed some pom-poms and threw them on the table why not now i'm whacking out my good old trusty glue gun again and i'm quite simply just gonna stick pom-poms to the front of the letter i just alternated the colors and did big ones and small ones and just completely covered it so they look like this and i think it looked really cute it's so cute and fluffy and then obviously i repeated that with all of the letters i actually really enjoyed myself doing this 
I want to do it again. <laughs> then you can just stand them all up together and you've got this cute little word with colourful pom-poms on it. What more could you ask for? <laughs> So for the next DIY you will need a bowl, preferably a clear one, uh, some polystyrene eggs, some sprinkles or hundreds and thousands, some shredded up tissue paper and some kind of pastel coloured twine to decorate. So you're just going to grab your polystyrene eggs and I just shoved a cocktail stick up its butt to make it a little bit easier to hold whilst I'm putting glue all over it. I'm just using PVA glue and I'm coating the entire egg. Then you just want to basically cover them in sprinkles. Now this got seriously messy, they were pinging all over the place so I would suggest popping it in a bowl and just kind of rolling it in it. It took a little bit of time but eventually you will cover them all and you just want to repeat that with all three of them. I will say though these hundreds and thousands get everywhere, you'll be finding them for weeks so apologise in advance to whoever's house it is. <laughs> you then want to shove the shredded stuff whatever it is in a bowl uh, this is meant to make it look like a nest you see where I'm going here yeah I then just made them look a little bit more like easter eggs and not just like balls with sprinkles on them so I put a little bit of pastel coloured twine around them how adorable I just did a different colour for each one and then I popped them in my little basket this would look a lot better in a wicker basket but I only had a bowl so that'll do <laughs> And for the final DIY, you'll need a plain white pillowcase, some paints of whatever colour you want, and some pom-pom trim stuff. So you first want to take your pom-pom trim stuff, <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, and you want to glue gun it along the edge of your pillow. Now it probably would make sense to put it on every edge, but I didn't have enough, so I just went for two edges, but definitely put it on all of them, because I think that would look a little bit better. So I'm just glue gunning that onto there and cutting it at the end. I then grabbed some of these pastel coloured paints and I decided to go for pink, yellow and purple because I thought that would look quite nice. And then I got this little sponge uh, paintbrush kind of thing and basically shoved it in the paint and dotted it on the pillow. It's really quite simple. And I just repeated it with all the colours and I thought it looked really cute actually. Very simple but very cute. And then I also decided, this was just a last minute thing, I decided to use some of the leftover pom-poms and I just grabbed some of the white ones and glue gunned them onto the pillow as well because I thought that just added a nice bit of texture, you know? And then I just shoved a pillow inside as you do because otherwise it wouldn't be much of a cushion without it. Zipped him up and you've got yourself a nice little spring DIY cushion. <laughs> So those were my five DIY, what are they again? Room decor ideas. I really hope you liked them. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it turned out well right now. I've no idea if it did, but you guys will know if it turned out all right. <laughs> I have no idea. Let me know below which DIY your favourite was. I think my favourite was probably... I do quite like how the little letters turned out. I think they look really cute. And if you do recreate any of these, um, definitely send me a little picture on Twitter because I would love that. Definitely tweet me if you make any of these. Yay! Be sure to give the video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you would like to see more DIY videos because I will definitely do that. And yeah, I will see you again next week. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.